Hey, what's up? It's the regular chips, chicken boss chips, chips with the hips, whatever you want to call me. I'm back with a fresh cut and the 80s porn industry inspired mustache. It is what it is. Let's get right into it. Today, we are talking about Francis and Ganu versus Stipe Miocic number two, the rematch. I know it happened a week ago almost, but it is what it is, man. I'm here now, so let's do it. So what we're going to talk about is the rematch, the biggest, baddest rematch as the UFC themselves advertised it that way. Let's just talk about what happened, man. Francis, man. Francis the Predator and Gano versus Stipe Stone Cold Miocic 2 just happened. It happened three days ago, but it just happened, right? This is just some sort of recap and just kind of looking back at it. Uh, first of all, damn. Congratulations to the now champ, the new world heavyweight champion of the world. Francis the Predator and Gano. The monster, the ex sand mine worker. The Predator, the man who went from Cameroon to France to the United States to get it all. To the new champ, Francis M***ing and Ganu. And speedy recovery to the now former champ, the greatest heavyweight of all time, the greatest heavyweight champ. Okay, let's start off with Stipe. I feel really sorry for him. To go out like this, man, we don't know if this is it for Stipe, if it's actually going out or if it's going to come back. It's sad that he had to go out like that as a champ, you know. Of course, he had an amazing run, like... Just like I said, he's the greatest heavyweight champ of all time. The first time he lost his uh, heavyweight belt against Daniel Cormier in the first match, you could say he just, you know, he got caught with a right hand getting out of the clinch and it was a lucky shot or something. And the second match, he was getting he was getting beat up too, but you know the story with all the body shots and how he turned that fight over uh, and won that, knocked out Daniel. But this time, he, he got absolutely dominated. It was kind of sad to see, but... It is what it is. It was it was kind of hard to watch, to be honest. From the start, you knew what Stipe's game plan was. It was basically the same game plan like last time. You know, try not to get caught by Francis and motherfucking Iron Hands and Ganu and tire him out or let him tire himself out. Like, just don't get caught. And probably, you know, just waiting for him to tire himself out and take him down sometime in the fight and control him on the ground. That was probably his game plan again. Like I said, his game plan was just like the first fight. But this time it was different. Francis, of course Francis changed his game plan. Of course he learned from the first fight. He wasn't going to do the same shit again. But this time it was different. We saw something very scary, like very scary. Even Bilal, fuck my eye, Mohammed said... Uh, he tweeted out, A patient Francis and Ganu is the scariest thing we have ever seen in this world. And let me tell you this, it wasn't that he wasn't patient in his last fights. With Jarzinho, I feel like he just knew he could knock a man out and get him out under a minute. So just he went for it. Like he wasn't patient at all. He just went for it, swinging and rushing. And then eventually he got caught and he knocked out Jarzinho Rosenstrike under a minute. And that was scary. Like really scary and Gano is a scary man man and his storyline his arc is just perfect like going from Cameroon you know working in the sand mines to uh, France and then from France to the United States and you know not even five years experience of MMA but he's a world champ now and like I said his whole storyline like getting his first title fight not prepared physically and mentally like physically I mean skill wise you know no takedown defense no wrestling and then mentally he said it himself he wasn't ready for that for all the media obligations and all the hype and fame around it maybe that got to his head the first time around but this time he was prepared he was really prepared yeah like i said his uh, story arc like fighting stipe losing uh, getting dominated for 25 minutes then going back and fighting his way up like literally fighting his way up fighting jds fighting over him yeah i think over yeah i don't know was over him before the first fight or after i don't know fighting jds rosenstrike it was like a game you know you lose to the main character go back do all the side tasks again and come back to fight the main character and this time you're prepared you actually know what you should do so you just destroy him crazy and Gano really upped his game we only really had questions about his takedown defense and his conditioning because we knew he could strike and he has power I think everyone knows he has power but this time around he showed us something else like the moment he stuffed that single leg takedown attempt by Stipe Miocic by dropping his weight on Miocic's back and let me tell you when my jaw dropped I'm not exaggerating I was shocked in that moment 
I knew that he was in for a long night. But five seconds later, when Francis rotated to the side and took body control and was pounding on Stipe Miocic, I knew Stipe was in for a fight, but not a long one, because I knew he, Francis would finish him before the 25 minutes were over. That was scary, man. When you watch that, you actually get scared. Like, look, look at Francis Ngannou, man. When you look at him, it's just scary. Shout out to Stipe for taking those punches. Like, many, many men, many men wish death. Many men would have been knocked out from the first strike that Francis Ngannou landed on Stipe. That was a clean strike and Stipe just ate it. Stipe has an amazing chin. But we'll see if it will stay the same after this fight. Because, you know, you can't just always have a strong chin. And, you know, after the fight, Stipe, the champ that he is or was, always humble in defeat and victory. Um, yeah, always humble in defeat and victory. Just as Francis, very humble. All in all, great fight, great night. And that was pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It's been your boy, the regular chips. Chicken box chips, chips with the hips, you know. Um, see ya, peace.